Well, Ryan McMahon is scheduled to be appointed to the job of Onondaga County Executive next Tuesday. Yet tonight, we're already seeing Joni Mahoney's likely successor working to get his face and his message out to the people. The legislature Chairman McMahon celebrating a milestone today on the shores of Onondaga Lake. News Channel Lines Andrew Donovan is here with more. Andrew? Well, Christy, in Joni Mahoney's very first year on the job as county executive, she turned around plans in place to build a sewage treatment plant in Armory Square, developing Save the Rain instead to keep water out of Onondaga Lake. Now, Ryan McMahon doesn't even have the job yet, but Onondaga Lake will again be a priority for the man who's apparently the next county executive. With gavel in hand, we're used to seeing Ryan McMahon sitting up front in the chamber of the legislature. But this morning, he was standing in gravel on the shore of Onondaga Lake. Here's the man of action. Uh, sometimes a government inertia is an operative word, but isn't an operative word in Ryan McMahon's. With Joni Mahoney on the way out and Ryan McMahon likely on the way in, he was front and center at an announcement that could have and probably would have been made by the county executive. This is a great story about what we all can do. Uh, you know, success has many authors, and everybody really dove into this. McMahon announcing that in one week, these rundown buildings will be gone, part of the $2 million spent to clean up the land that used to house Roth Steel until its sudden bankruptcy in 2014 after a century in business. But its future isn't open to just anybody. Some projects have been rejected. Uh, this would have been a disaster. If there was a pick and pull on our shoreline, I'm sure all of you have flown in to our community from traveling abroad. You fly right over the lake and you see everything around the lake. Once cleared, the waterfront land will be offered to private companies for commercial projects. And next year, a bridge will be built connecting the Honeywell property next door. So we can connect the Lucas Lake Trail all the way to our inner harbor and then eventually to the village of Liverpool. And we'll have a full loop around the lake. Picking up where Joni Mahoney left off in more ways than one. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Ryan McMahon has enough support in the county legislature to be appointed to finish the last year of Joni Mahoney's term. She announced this week that she'll take the job of Chief Operating Officer at SUNY ESF on November the 1st. Now,